Welcome to Electrical Engineering Channel. Please don't forget to subscribe and turn on the notifications to don't miss our upcoming videos. Single phase motor connection. In our case, we opened the motor connection box and found eight wires, no marks, and not connected. How could we connect this motor? In this case, we have two capacitors. So four wires from the eight are the capacitor's leads. The remaining four wires, two are the starting winding leads. And the remaining two are the running winding leads. How could we identify the correct leads? First check the capacitor's microfarad values. Normally it's printed on the capacitor. In our case we have two capacitors, one is 300 microfarad. And the second one is 40 microfarad. Normally the higher microfarad capacitor is the starting capacitor. Now with using the multimeter on ohm meter position, check any two leads if the measurement was open loop. That means, these two wires not related to the same winding. Recheck till identifying each winding two leads and check each winding ohm value. In our case, one winding is 2.5 ohms and the second one is 4 ohms. The higher ohm value winding is the starting winding and the other one is the running winding. Now we identified all the eight leads, and we have additional two leads, or the power supply two wires, so the total now are ten wires. Now we can apply the connection in one point connect, one supply lead, one running winding lead, and one lead from each capacitor. The starting capacitor second lead to be connected to the centrifuge switch. In one point connect the running capacitor second lead, the centrifuge switch second lead, and one lead from the starting winding, the second starting lead and the second running lead to be connected to the second supply lead. Now our motor ready to start. Switch on the supply, now the motor running. Thank you for watching, please don't forget to subscribe. And if you liked this video, please like and share it.